Holiday traditions vary around the world. You've probably heard of Krampus, an evil counterpart to Santa from Germany. The United States has Black Friday to celebrate the start of the Christmas season. There's Day of the Dead, which has Catholic roots but is only celebrated in Mexico. Today we're going to be looking at one tradition celebrated in the small town of Gavel, Sweden, and their famous Christmas goat. But it's not about the building of the goat that we're looking at. It's the curious case of its destruction. Throughout this video, I'm going to refer to the town as Gavel, even though apparently it's pronounced Yavle. Yavle. I don't speak Swedish, but whatever. The Gavel Goat is constructed annually by the people of Gavel in their town square, and has been a tradition since 1966. The goat is made of straw, and its construction usually begins on the first day of Advent, which in the Christian calendar is four weeks before Christmas. The goat is meant to stand tall throughout the holiday season as a festive ornament, kind of like the tree in Rockefeller Plaza in New York City. Goats are a symbol of Christmas time in Sweden, and Santa Claus is often depicted riding a goat instead of a sleigh there. The first goat constructed in 1966 was 43 feet tall and 23 feet long. And on January 1st, 1967, it was burnt down. The identity of this first arsonist is not publicly available, but he was convicted of vandalism and his actions would leave an impact on the legacy of the town goat for generations to come. The next two years, 1967 and 1968, the goat survived, but these two years of glorious peace would prove to be some of the very few years where nothing of note happened to the goat. On December 31st, 1969, the goat was once again burned down, as it had been the first year it was constructed. In 1970, the goat was burned down six hours after it had finished being built by drunk teenagers. In 1971, the goat was smashed to pieces before Christmas Day. After three years of failures in a row, the town gave up on building the yearly goat. But, a local school decided to carry on the tradition. They fared no better. In 1972, the school's goat collapsed. In 73, the entire thing was stolen. In 74, it was burned down. In 75, it collapsed again. In 76, it was hit by a car. In 77, it was, surprisingly, burnt down. And in 78, it was kicked to pieces. None of the culprits were caught. In 1979, the goat was torched before it was finished being built. They decided, after all these failures, to start fireproofing the goat. And they rebuilt it with this new security measure in mind. The rebuilt, fireproof goat was dismantled and broken into pieces. In 1980, the goat was burned on Christmas Eve. In 1981, the goat miraculously survived, the first time it had made it through the holiday season since 1968. One year later, on December 13th, 1982, the goat was promptly burnt to the ground. In 1983, the goat's legs were destroyed. In 1984, it was set ablaze. In 1985, the goat was protected by National Guardsmen and soldiers from the local infantry in Gavel. A six-and-a-half-foot fence was erected around the goat, and it burnt down anyway. In 1986, the town decided to start building their own goat again. I don't know what made them think it was a good idea, but they tried their best, and it didn't even make it to Christmas Eve. The goat was burnt down on December 23, 1986. In 1987, the goat was heavily fireproofed. It burnt down. In 1988, people began to gamble on the fate of the goat. With such low odds, you would have made a fortune betting that the goat would survive, because it did just that for the first time in six years. In 1989, the goat was burned down as it was being built. The public raised money to have it rebuilt, and the second goat was promptly burned again. In 1990, volunteers guarded the goat day and night, and it survived. They probably should have continued this effort in 1991, because it burnt down again on Christmas Eve. In 1992, a goat terrorist struck the town of Gavel three times. In one night, he burnt down both the goat in the town square and the goat built by the school. The town rebuilt their goat, and he burned it again on December 20th. He was caught and served time in jail. This was also the year that the town created an official goat committee. In 1993, the school's goat featured in the Guinness Book of World Records for its size, standing at 49 feet tall. Both goats survived that year, and the following year. In 1995, the goat was burned down on Christmas Day. Starting in 96, 
The goat was monitored by webcams around the clock, and this helped keep it safe for two years, although, ironically, it was damaged by fireworks in 1996. In 1997, the goat was burned down during a major blizzard. In 1999, the town's goat was burned within a couple hours of its completion. The school's goat was also burned. At the turn of the millennium, the goats were miraculously spared fire damage. Instead, the school's goat was tossed in a nearby river. That's, that's, that's much better. In 2001, the school's goat was burned again, but the more interesting story is that of Lawrence Jones, who burned the town goat down with just a lighter. If you think that name sounds kind of odd for a Swedish fellow, it's because he's from Ohio. Lawrence had been in Gavel visiting friends, and during dinner at a local diner, they had told him about the curious case of the goat being burned down almost every year. Lawrence thought it would be amusing if the goat burned down while he was in town, so that he could claim to his friends back home that he had been the one who did it. As they left the restaurant, Lawrence walked over to the goat, and I'm, I'm just going to let him speak for himself. Quote, I stood there for a moment, admiring the goat, its vastness and the beautiful lighting. That's when it struck me that it was actually not certain that the goat would burn this year. I might not be able to present myself as a box burner. I stepped over the fence and stood under the belly of the goat, right next to its hind legs. I pulled and pulled to get a straw from the goat. I managed to get a straw from one of the legs, but it still stuck to the goat. I clicked on the lighter that just this time produced an unusually large flame. Thatched straw caught fire. In the US, we have a saying called Murphy's Law. If anything can go wrong, it will go wrong. The moment I lit the flame, Murphy's Law came into force. With my hands, I tried to stifle the fire, but it was in vain. I stood frozen in the ground and watched the flame spread up along the leg of the goat. My intention had been to burn a single straw, quickly extinguish the fire, and walk away with the feeling of having burnt the goat in a symbolic way. The judge's assessment and conclusion in the trial against me seems perfectly reasonable. He said, The truth is, well, the goat is being built to be able to burn. Mr. Jones, you're free but we will not give you back your lighter. It had been said that the goat was fireproof. Whatever it was you used to fireproof the goat that year, I want to say, don't use it again. It did not work. Lawrence was fined and set free, but he returned to America without paying his fine and seems to have a good attitude about the event. Lawrence wrote in a column in 2003 discussing his run-in with the goat, quote, I smiled when I heard the news about the latest goat burn. A small tear ran down my cheek as I looked at an old postcard that one of my students in Gavel gave me. It represents the goat. Me and the goat are in a close relationship with each other. It is as if he were an old friend or an old enemy. Hard to decide which. It's a love of hate that I think I share with the residents of Gavel, the ones who build the goat every year just to have it burned up during one of the dark nights. Legends and myths flourish around the goat. Is the goat burning a tradition? Or is it a crime? Perhaps because it needed a break from the previous year's hilarity, the goat was spared in 2002. In 2003, the goat burned down. In 2004, the goat burned down. In 2005, two men, one dressed as Santa Claus and the other dressed as a gingerbread man, shot a flaming arrow at the goat and burned it down. They were featured on the Swedish equivalent of the FBI's Most Wanted. In 2006, the little goat that could survived all the way to January 2nd, when it was taken away and stored in a secret location. In 2007, the goat was burned. In 2008, 10,000 people showed up to the unveiling of the goat. The town had decided not to use flame repellent on it that year because it made the goat look ugly. Needless to say, it was burned down. In 2009, Goat Burners DDoS attacked the security webcams and burnt the town goat on December 23rd. The school's goat was stolen in a pickup truck. In 2010, one of the goat's guards was bribed to leave his position, but he held steadfast in his belief that the goat should not be burned, and, due to his principles, the goat survived. In 2011, the goat was sprayed with water to create a protective layer of ice, but the month was abnormally hot and the ice melted. The town and the school goats were both burned. In 2012, the goat was burned. In 2011, the goat was covered in flame retardant, and then burned. In 2014, the goat survived three arson attacks, 
but the school goat collapsed. In 2015, the town spent around 100,000 US dollars on the goat, which was burned down by a drunk man who was arrested shortly after. Despite having a singed face, smelling of gasoline, and being visibly drunk, he initially denied doing anything wrong. When he sobered up, he admitted that burning the goat was, quote, an extremely bad idea. In 2016, the 50-year anniversary of the goat tradition, the town threw the goat a birthday party. It was burned down the very same day. It was replaced with a smaller goat built by local high schoolers, which was later hit by a car. The goat survived 2017 and 2018, and now has a dedicated Twitter account that live tweets the status of the goat. In 2018, someone entered the goat's enclosure because they really, really had to go to the bathroom, but the goat was spared. The goat burning has become such a problem that the town orders more straw than is necessary in case they need to rebuild the goat. In the long history of the town, only four people have been caught vandalizing the structure. The man who came up with the idea for the goat, Stig Gavlin, passed away in 2018. Last year, the goat survived an attempt to burn it down. Perhaps Stig will be able to rest easy, and the tradition of destroying the goat will continue no more. Or maybe it'll burn down again, I don't know. I'll keep you updated on Twitter for the 2019 goat. The goat will be, or was, depending on how long it takes me to make this video, erected on Thanksgiving this year, November 28th, 2019. You can visit their website, which is linked below, to watch the goat live stream. The goat's Twitter page is also linked below. I have to say thank you to my patrons who have waited a long time for this episode of The Absurds. I hope everyone watching this has a very happy holiday season. Also, the goat is totally gonna burn, and I am calling it right now. <laughs>